Welcome back. Today, we're going to review the Seiko SSK001. Before we begin, please don't forget to click the subscribe button so you don't miss videos like this. Thank you. As you may know, this Seiko 5 is a GMT automatic watch and it is one of the most hottest watches right now. As you can see on their website, it's not available as of today and it is selling like hotcakes. This watch is similar to the SKX line previously and Seiko, they just redesigned it, placed the GMT. SKX 007, as you may know, was very popular up to this day, especially that now the watch is discontinued. And this is what has re-emerged as the new SKX. This watch is an excellent watch if you're a traveler, especially because of that GMT hand right there and its usage. Let's try to adjust it. Okay, so when you move the R, it follows. You can adjust it separately to whichever time zone you want to. And the date is counterclockwise. So it's not a screw down crown. Keep in mind, that's the difference with the SKX 007-009. Okay, let's just get to the specs here real quick. The diameter of this watch is 42.5. The thickness of it is 13.6. The lug to lug is 46 millimeters and the lug width is 22. So it has a huge bracelet, Jubilee bracelet. I like this design. I think it fits it. Usually some would change this to the Oyster. That's okay too. They don't want that jingly sound to the bracelet and I can see this bracelet not lasting long uh, in terms of scratches. I previously had uh, several, I've owned several SKX 007-009 and they, they usually don't last that long to scratches. They scratch quite a bit because these Seiko budget watches don't have dye shield coating and those are the ones on the Marine Master 200s, the 63 masses, and others. For a budget price, this watch, I don't really mind it does not have. Especially considering the first one did not have one too. It's just something to keep in mind when you buy this watch. That it's gonna scratch up easily as any other Seikos or mid-range Seikos have. But then, as I've said, the price is double. Now, the GMT bezel, some people would say that this is this watch just looks like a modded Seiko. I don't blame them though because there are a lot of mods out there. Websites just give out modifications, uh, sapphire crystal, and all this one does not have a sapphire crystal unfortunately. Hard legs crystal and at least it has drilled lug case so you can easily change straps. And this black and gray bezel insert has a really nice touch to it. The bezel on this one does not click obviously it's a GMT so it's a tight turn it's not smooth as something that's broken no it's it's solid it is a solid hard and you're not gonna fear of hitting it and moving it accidentally so there's that let's move on to the case back here this has an open case back or R34 00A0 it's a reference number and it's it's a 4R35 with the GMT, same specs, and these are bulletproof movements. 24 joules, maybe that's why it is only 100 meters of water resistance, not yet see there, 10 bar, it's not really 200. And those are the things that make it different to the predecessors. Screw down crown, glass case back. Uh, this is not a diver, this is a travel watch. So it's really intended for people who travel but don't want to spend on, on a Rolex GMT, True Door GMT or whatever it is. Even the spring drive ones, they are a high price. Beautiful dials with high price. If you don't like or need the, the GMT movement, Seiko also sells a different one with a, a plain and black dial and black bezel. SRPD55 comes at around $295. And it is a plain and simple watch, same dimensions to this one, much closer to the original one. So let's see the wrist here. 
my wrist size is 6.5 inches and it wears perfectly. The Cyclops there, I can see it getting stretched in no time. This is a beautiful watch. I'll be honest, I'm tired of looking at the SKX, the 107, the 109 because they are truly gems. It's been in production for so long. To finally have something that is fresh and new, even if it's just adding another hand in a GMT there, and the bezel it's like a breath of fresh air and at this price range no wonder it's out of stock because people just know they can rely on it they just know that they're not going to be let down by seiko and this one the dial on this one is really beautiful as you can see there on the six o'clock there is no made in japan as this is the worldwide version if you want to have the JDM model, there's a made in Japan there. Basically the same watch, maybe a few minor quality, maybe less uh, misaligned chapter rings, I guess. To me, it doesn't really matter because you pay the same price and some just price it up because it's JDM. This one is, it has a beautiful finish on the dial for a $400 watch. There are several other versions of this watch. There's the orange one. And the Batman one. Now, the only competition here that I see is whether you're gonna buy this. Let's just say that you don't really like the GMT. Let's just say you want a watch like the uh, like the SKX, the previous SKX, 007, 009. You want it in a brand new feel. Because, honestly, that's your competition right now it's between this one and the older versions which the older versions are increasing in price and that is an old 7s26 movement and some may modify it for an nh uh, movement i guess the answer there in my own personal opinion is this watch is a worthy successor it is a breath of fresh air to finally see the skx rest because it has served a lot of people for decades and this is a new version of it that can cater to different types of people especially the ones who travel so if you're choosing between them this is the more modern way to go if you really are a diehard fan of the previous one if you never owned one maybe you should but if you have owned several uh, SKX for maybe it's time to try something new, but if you've never owned an SKX It's hard not to recommend it But the most people in the watch community who've seen who've held and uh, owned SKX watches and Most people have them So if, if you're the one who have them or have previously owned them, this is a nice new watch that breathes a fresh perspective in your collection and That's what I think about this. It's not something that is boring it's simple, versatile, and it can be used by anyone, especially if you're a budget collector or just want to have a GMT for a start. So there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you soon. Stay safe.